Good morning, good morning, Magenda Numaga, Konnichiwa, Bonjour. So I'm going to be snowed in today. Uh, we're supposed to get one to three inches and it's below 20 degrees outside. So I'm pretty much going to stay home uh, and um, try to get some really early spring cleaning in my house. Uh, I have a little dog who sheds a lot and I have a wood stove and for whatever reason having a wood stove it's oh it seems dustier. <laughs> Thank the Lord that I don't have a lot of items that I have to clean off. Um, I live a pretty simplistic and I don't have a lot of things in my house which I'm glad about that I'm not the type of person who needlessly collects things. So uh, sorry for that long explanation. <laughs> Good morning. Um, so since I'm going to be home, I think I'm going to try to do a couple of videos. And I only say a couple because even though the, the uh, videos are less than 10 minutes, it takes sometimes up to an hour. It takes a half an hour to an hour to load. So, um, so while it's loading, I do other things or whatever. So I had someone comment on my last video, but the comment didn't post. I saw it in my mo my my notifications. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> my notifications um, asking me about being baptized by his Holy Spirit. And is it necessary to be water baptized? Which is a very good question. The notification was up in the corner, but it wasn't posted on my video. I don't know why. I don't block people. I don't know if the person deleted it. I don't know if YouTube, I don't really care. But um, so to explain, um, I'm only sharing my own testimony. I am not a teacher and we should follow no one in the flesh, but I will share my own testimony. Um, when I was baptized with his Holy Spirit, it wasn't about a feeling, okay, that people say I got the shivers or I, I felt the Lord. Um, it's not about a feeling. For me, the Lord was calling out to me in a major, major way. And it, I did not hear a voice. I've never heard a voice. I'd be creeped out if I heard voices <laughs> like, oh, wow, okay. That's demonic schizophrenia. Um, but which, by the way, schizophrenia, all that is is demonic entities that can be um, cast out of you. But, um, so it was about an urgency and my heart desiring truth only and seeking truth and, um, coming out of the world. When I say coming out of the world is emptying my cup, so to speak, of all the indoctrination throughout my 42 years of lies and deception and, you know, darkness, um, that I would repent from different things. Now, repentance just means I change the way I see it. I change the way I feel about it. And I change what I do. It's an action as well. It's not just I just changed my mind about it. It's, um, let's just use example um, that I never watched, I never was the type of person to watch the news. So, but I never thought that the news was a bunch of, you know, stories that were untrue, like shootings. Let's just say, use that as an example. Um, I never thought like for, I was never involved. I never followed news stories, but I never thought, you know, they were being dishonest about the stories and that they, the, the stories were untrue. 
like it's the movies, the whole world is a stage. I, I didn't care. I wasn't invested in it. But when I was coming into the truth and I became born again with his Holy Spirit, um, I realized the importance of knowing that if someone's not born again in Christ, and that's most people, whether it be on TV, um, in the government, in your neighborhood, in your family, if someone's not born again in Christ, whether it's knowingly or unknowingly, that person is a liar. That person is a murderer. Saying someone's a murderer is saying that they're a liar because they don't understand that they're the walking dead. They're dead in Christ because they don't know the truth. They're dead to the truth. They don't, they don't realize that everything around them, again, the whole world is a stage. Whole world is a lie. And people don't, people build their treasures here um, because they, they feel like their life is important, that, um, that their, their investments, they invest their time and energy into things that are untrue, that have, that, that they're not on the rock. They're, they're, don't realize that they're sinking, that they're their, their own worst enemy, basically. So when I became born again in Christ and was baptized with his Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit was the only thing, the only thing that could um, help me see the truth. That when you say Jesus Christ is truth and Jesus Christ is the only one who knows the way, the way means the path of truth. So without his Holy Spirit, I wouldn't be able to discern the truth from the lies. That I would be falling like the rest of the world, falling for the lies, falling for the deception. So that's how I knew I was born again in Christ because the Lord plucked me out and I realized that it's all... Mm, I don't like I, I came out of the world that I don't involve myself anymore. That's including holidays, everything. I don't watch the news. I don't follow the government. I don't do anything because I know that it's all satanic. It's satanic ceremonies. And because it's lies, that makes it satanic. So to answer the question, is it necessary to be water baptized? No, no, it's not. And I wouldn't recommend it anyways, cause you, what, you just gonna pick a random church and, and, and have somebody who's not born again in Christ dunk you in water? What does that accomplish? Absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. In fact, you're probably welcoming if you're opening your vessel and involving yourself in man's traditions you're probably opening yourself up to demonic entities to enter into your vessel by involving yourself in something like that okay when the lord when jesus christ got baptized he um he uh <laughs> sorry i'm not a teacher um what he did made it so you didn't have, he finished the work. He, 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 like he was the, also the sacrificial lamb. That's why we don't take lambs without blemishes today and sacrifice them to the Lord because he was the sacrificial lamb. So what he did, um, changed the covenant so there is no purpose or no room for carnal um, actions that we know as the remnant, we walk by the spirit, that we don't follow man's traditions, that we know that, you know, I hate to say it, but it's kind of ridiculous to think that, you know, going and dunking people in water, that you're accomplishing anything when those people who do that are still part of the world. They're still liars. 
they haven't changed anything and they think that they're saved but they're still dead in Christ which is really sad to say but it's the truth so I hope I answered the question even though again I'm going to remind you I'm not a teacher I'm just sharing my own testimony and what I know to be true I love you God bless